Hi again, welcome to another season. It's 2022 and the start of my grass cutting season. Sorry if there's a bit of glare there. Um, I have done a few already, I did a few last week, but this week, well, over the weekend I had the calls, which you get, and they all sort of called together. So I'm back on it today. Uh, it's Thursday, that's my usual day, I do all these jobs. Um, and yeah, I'll show you the lawn. I've got to do this one where I'm at and the one next door. Could do the next one, but I'll probably do that next week. Um, and yeah, that sun's out quite nice today. Um, yeah, we're in for a good spell of weather, apparently. Um, the phone says that, and someone said if I heat wave in April, so I hope so. At the moment, it is about the middle of March. I can't remember the date. But yeah, um, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a drag getting back into it. You know, you've had your winter rest and that, and yeah, it's a hard work. Um, starts again, so you're not really used to it, but. It's quite nice to come to the gardens because we actually finished them all off last season. So it's just basically clearing up from winter storms and things and um, yeah, getting the grass cut. So I'll turn you around and show you what we've got to do. There you go, that's the lawn. They don't like cut too short here. So basically just a light trim they asked for. So that's what they'll get. Um, that hedge, I do trim that. But like I said, I did all that um, last year. Same with that one next door as well. That's the grass got cut next door as well. I did all that um, conifer at the end of last season, one of the last jobs I did here before Christmas. So I got all that done all the way along. Didn't come out too bad. It has got a bit of a dip in it where the tree is. But um, yeah, not too bad. It looks tidy. Yeah, the grass has shot up here a bit. Um, Laura's out the front. Um, we managed to pick her up a new mower, bargain price. Uh, it's the one she likes, the Honda HRX 537, and managed to get as much back for her old one, give that service. It wasn't too bad, but it's just a bit tired. So yeah, we managed to replace it, Martha, next to nothing. And this one come with new blades and everything, so um, service and everything, so I didn't have to sort of touch it. So that was a winter bargain. We'll show you that before the end of the video. You can probably hear her, hear her in the background. I'm just gonna trim all the edges and bits and pieces, work my way around with the strimmer. And then uh, she'll follow me with the mower. Um, there it is, buried under there. Um, that was my backup one last year, but now that's back to my first choice one again now. Um, I did a blade break clutch on that a little while ago. I did a video of that on my other channel. So I've been really, very busy on the other channel, lots of repairs and that. So yeah, there's a video of the blade break clutch repair on this one. Um, put new bearings and that in it and yeah it's all right it's all serviced up and okay it'll come out if it needs to today this doesn't get used nowhere near as much as laura's does because i do the trimming and she does the mowing but actually making a lot of noise i'll get on and i'll show you progress what we make um in in a little while so now we've done the lawn and we have laura sitting there saying she's part of the equipment the equipment um we'll go through what we've got anyway for a start before we go through what we've got what do you think of your latest mower. Now that you've adjusted the cable, it's absolutely fine. I adjusted the drive cable, it was sticking when you were pulling it back. And, and also I took the back rubber flap off as well, because they do get in the way when you pull it back, especially when you're on tight areas. So yeah, um, that's good now. So I've just done them little things on there, just to make it a little bit easier. But that's a replacement one. Um, I wouldn't actually have bought it, it'd just come up. I wouldn't have bought it, I'd have carried on using the one we already had. But as that popped up, I thought I'll service up her old one and then replace it with one that's better. And this one's had an easy life. So I think it's a 2008 or something, but it has had an easy life. So we're gonna put it for its paces though, aren't we? Actually, 2006 is even older than I thought, but yeah, you can see it's in good condition. It's working great. See the bag's even in nice condition. Is this like the pre video to show what it looks like before I've wrecked it? <laughs> well, it will take a bit of stick through the summer, but um, it learn us money. So that's the most important thing. They do hold up well, these old, um, well, so these old, they do still make them, but they're slightly different now. I think they have a 200cc engine on rather than a 190. They've done a few tweaks anyway on them. Uh, but this is a Honda HRX 537. There's one I, I use. I showed you that a little bit earlier. Um, I've had that a good few years now and that's working great. A bit tatty around the body of the mower, but all the deck is good, nothing broken on it. And that's working fine. I did I the black. Laura finds too heavy, don't you? Yeah, it ends up pulling on my shoulders far too much. Um, yeah, sometimes she has to use it. It just depends. If that one breaks down and I'm doing streaming, she has to use that, but not very often. Like I said earlier, that doesn't get the use nowhere near as much as whatever 
Honda HRX 537 we have in the van because we have got two of them. Um, I've got two of these as well, which I keep both, both pairs in good condition. So if one breaks down, we can just go home and get another one easy. But we do need one like this for handles that go down easy because it needs to go in the um, Land Rover. Yeah, well, I'll have one like that, innit? Yeah. And the other one the... has the auto choke on it as well. You say so. Um, yeah, the other one has the little bits you pull out and twist to put the hand down, not the turn ones. But I mean, this one, no, I think no, you put that... it in the Land Rover a couple of times, but it's such a theft. You have to just get um, yeah a spanner to do that one. So I, I leave that in the van all all summer. Um, yeah, and that's working great, like I said. Um, and the blower, I repaired this on my other channel last year. I've actually got three of these, but I've landed up using the one I repaired last year. I was going to sell it. We started using it, and it works really well. So I've decided to hang on to that at the moment. And there's my. Um, steel combi the km94 rc and obviously at the moment it's got the strimmer attachment on but i've got the pruner end and the hedge cutter end so that's our sort of um smaller lawn setup i have got the ride on stuff which i'll show you when we got that in the van but this is just the stuff we use for these sort of gardens that's that one and i'll show you the um yeah, there's some photos of the other one we've just done next door. I'll show you that. It's quite a high cut on these ones. Yeah, because it's first cut, it's quite a high cut. But um, it yeah, tidy it up. Good to get the first cuts out of the way. Yeah, and I'll put the photos of the next door's one in now. So I will in the future show you some. I hope well, actually before I go on, I hope the wind isn't affecting too much. It's just picked up a bit the wind has um but i will try to show you some of these in action in the future um as the season goes on I'm trying to do a bit more regular videos on this channel i just want to show you the setup for this year and uh, this is all sort of second hand stuff none of it was bought no none of it actually um that's about the only tool of note i've bought in since 2020 i've been using my other stuff stuff i already had just keep it going you don't need to go out and buy all this expensive brand new stuff you can make do with second hand stuff and there's some good quality second hand stuff out there you know it's all not well and good saying go electric and that it isn't cheap the electric the batteries ain't cheap and if you're starting off you don't need to really go that way you can pick up some second hand stuff and if you can't repair it watch youtube because loads of people show you how to clean carburetors do recall pulls um sharpen blades the whole lot so you can um watch them and if you follow them a lot of them are step by step i do some bit like that if you look on my other channel but then lots of other channels in um well all over the world um you know mowers do differ from like the uk to the united states for example but carburetor clean is much the same so yeah check out some of the other channels there's loads of info out there um and yeah like the i said other thing about having a brand new mower if you spend all that money on it you have to be quite careful with it you feel like yeah. you have to whereas when you've got an old second hand third fourth whatever hand yeah. it is it doesn't matter if you scrape the side <laughs> you don't worry quite so much like that one we won't worry quite so much as when we had a new one which i give up on quite quick a few years back had a new one just scrape the side quite quickly and it looked yeah and the gearbox went had a weak gearbox on it these yeah. these have got a good gearbox on actually these honda hrx 537 they're an aluminium gearbox i i like them um so what else um yeah and with the plastic stuff as well as, as good as it is it's weaker it's, the plastic's weaker and everything i've got a couple of electric um tools a strimmer husqvarna strimmer and um, hedge trimmer which i really like but they weren't cheap and i'm not going to go the mower route yet at the moment petrol's quite easy to get still and it will be for the foreseeable future unless um there's a supply issue but you know um this total switch over to battery is going to be a long way off, I think. For... As far as I'm aware, there isn't a good enough battery to keep us going all day. No, I'd have to have loads knows. of batteries. I'd have to have yeah. too many batteries. It would cost me a fortune. And also, just using a normal E10 iron. Um, we get through it so quick, I'm using that. Could go for this um, uh, Aspen or something, but a £4 a litre. Yeah, that's too expensive. <laughs> E10, I think, is about, at the moment, about 160 odd a litre. That's expensive enough. So, yeah, um, I'm just sticking with a normal E10 fuel and these are running all right on it and they'll do the the wild work what we need them to do so anyway i'm gonna leave the video here like i said in the future i'll try and show you some action and do some more videos on this channel and check out my other channel i'll link it in the comments below and in the description that's more repair stuff that's it really for today i just want to show you the setup for this year this will basically be what we'll be using for the sort of gardens like this so 
yeah i'll leave the video there so thanks for watching and i'll be along with another video again soon so bye for now and bye from me catch you later